Hey T fam, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, hi my name is Tamina and I make university lifestyle content and fashion content but for today I thought we should switch it oh. <laughs> I thought we should switch it up a bit. I want to do a Q&A for you guys because our family is growing. We're now at 4K and I'm so excited. But then I realized, do you guys even really know who you're watching? Because I did one Q&A and it was complete clownery. I was just, I didn't even answer a question. I don't even know if you guys got to know me better. But now I'm back. I'm better. Hopefully not as um, clownish as in that video and I actually want to answer your questions. So I have a few questions over here which I just got off the internet, some videos on YouTube, some get to know me tags and everything. Mix them all up and just compile them in, in this paper. As you guys see the effort I went through for this video. <laughs> and then finally I got your questions from Instagram and I put them, I wrote them all down, put them in this thing. So I'm just going to cover this thing with a lead and then I'm going to shake it around and then answer around 10 to 15 questions because I couldn't write down all of them. So I just chose um, the questions that were not repetitive and that were leading to knowing me more because some were like other things. Maybe I'll just answer those on the side. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do in today's video. And I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys get to know me more and get to know who you're watching. So let's just get started. <music> question is um, my name and you guys I think you know my name but my full name is Tamina Cavell Wasemo. The only name I know where it comes from is Tamina and that's um, of Hebrew origin <laughs> and it means honest that's all I know. I don't know what Cavellwa means and I don't know what Semo means so yeah Semo is just a surname so we're all called Semo in the Semo family. I think that's clear. <laughs> So my nickname, um, what I'm called around the house is basically, I'm either called Temi or some of my friends call me Katems, but basically it's mostly Temi, I don't, got, I don't, <laughs> I don't get called Katems too much. Um, I'm 19 years old and I have one sibling and my favorite pastime is pretending I'm a character in Euphoria or imagining I'm a character in Euphoria. That's why I'm so obsessed with glitter these days and like Euphoria inspired makeup. So yeah, that's basically the first one done. My first crush was in Nasadi and I remember his name was Dan and I don't know why, I think I had a crush on him because he was the only one who didn't use to like pee his pants. So I was like, wow, <laughs> what a man. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's basically it. Um, the second question is my first heartbreak, and I think my first heartbreak was the same guy just done in nursery, and I remember he was busy molding his plaster scene with another girl, and I remember that's the first time I was so sad. I was sad for like a whole week. It was so bad. <laughs> I'm such an exaggerator. Um, the third question is my first beating. <laughs> My first beating, the first time I was introduced to the cruel world of beatings was when I was, I think, six years old or five years old. And I was lied to by my sister to eat all the sugar or like half the sugar. And I remember I was caught and I had all the particles around my mouth. And I denied with my chest. I was like, no, I didn't, I didn't eat the sugar. I, I was whooped. Wow, I was really whooped. That's the first time I knew, oh, so we can get beaten. <sighs> the question I've, I've already lost count so my, the other question is your first kiss and my first kiss was by my mother when she was putting me to bed um and telling me good night <laughs> um my first relaxer okay I, is there like a first and second relaxer but the first time i got a relaxer is when i was going to high school and you know how when you're going to high school it's like uh Kenyan tradition for everyone to get like a relaxer because they're like you don't need to you don't want to, to go with like Nyolengumu to high school so everyone was told was advised to get a relaxer it was like the in thing it was like a trend so that's when I got my first relaxer and I was so excited because my hair was so soft and silky and then my hair just fell off at a point because I dyed it blonde and mm, it's a long story but yeah that was my first relaxer <laughs> The other question is my first day of high school versus my last day. My first day of high school was rather depressing. At the end of the day, I went to the bathroom and I cried because I remember we, I woke up that day and I went to the dining hall and the loaf was so huge. My stomach was bloated. After that, we were told we have to wash toilets. I was assigned to the toilet area. It was so depressing. 
I really didn't like a lot of my high school life. That's why the last day was my favorite day of high school. Like hands down, my last day was my favorite day of high school. My other, there were good days in high school, but the last day was actually top tier. It was like top tier because when everyone was like saying goodbye to each other, I knew I was still going to see my friends who are actually my friends outside high school. So I ran. I mean, I was done. I was so happy. It was like freedom. I was so happy. <laughs> my um first rejection like the first time i ever got rejected and not not to be you know anything but i never provide the platform or the opportunity to be rejected because i don't shoot my shots i just don't shoot my shot because i'm so scared of rejection i can imagine i just go shoot my shot i tell you everything you know then you tell me something i'll just be like wow this is my time to just go disappear in a hole like i can't i don't know how I don't know how boys do it. Like I'm so scared of rejection. <laughs> so yeah, I just don't shoot my shot. Um, one thing you love about yourself and one thing you hate. Um, the one thing I love about myself is positivity. My ability to just be in a good mood no matter what happens. So even though I'm rejected, let's say I shoot my shot one day and I'm rejected, I'll just be same old positive. Maybe I'll just be sad for like two days and then I'll be like, you know. We move regardless. You know, if move regardless was a person, it would be me. I hope. I hope I'm not just speaking like this and then things on the ground are different. Yeah. But one thing I hate about myself is um, I overthink everything. Like, you know the way in class they'll call out the register and then each person has to say here or present. So if like, it's, okay, Tamina, and then I say here, I'm going to overthink how I said here for the next two hours. If I say something and then you misinterpret it, I'm going to overthink that the whole weekend. It's just bad. Like if I go and order something and feel like I, I, I said it weirdly, like if I say wingman combo and I feel like I said the wingman like that wingman, I'll think about it the whole weekend. It's just, it's a big problem. So it's time for the Instagram questions because I'm actually done with the other questions. I've answered them so fast. I'm like, oh no. And I wanted this video to you know to be like nice and long and for you guys to like grab a snack so I can finally get a chance to be, you know, those YouTubers who say, you know, grab a snack. It's going to be a long video, but you know what? I'll just answer these questions slower. So yeah, grab a snack, guys, grab a snack. So I'm just going to um, do this and like roll it around for like a minute. And then I'm going to pick one question okay so the question is i've picked two questions okay i've picked two questions i'm just going to return this one and answer this one so how do you balance school and youtube this is a hard one i don't even okay i always that's why you see i always have to have a to-do list because sometimes i'll do all my youtube things and then forget i had an assignment due that same day or sometimes it's vice versa i'll do all my assignments and everything and then remember on the last day oh no we don't have a youtube video for this sunday so it's like a whole delicate balance but it takes a lot of discipline because you actually have to slot in your time and sacrifice some time like when your friends are going out or something you have to be like oh no uh, i'm going to record the video you know <laughs> <laughs> or like you get it takes a lot of discipline but um this semester it's gotten a bit easier because we have like more free days so i get more time to record i get more time to like read and everything and i'm actually thinking of recording um an exam season youtube video also the trick is the trick is you see i record university um lifestyle content so like i want to record for um university like exam season because it's hot girl exam season coming soon so you can merge your videos like for me i want to do that and merge youtube and recording for school so that way it kind of forces me to read at the same time it also gives me content so i feel like it's the best thing for me to record university lifestyle content because sometimes i just even just record my day in uni and that's a video and that's that's a plan that's why yeah i think my new niche kind of has really helped me create a balance yeah um okay we're just going to have to do this again <laughs> it's a hot exam season it's a hot hot girl exam season and you go she gotta read i don't know what i'm singing but yeah so the next question, this time I've picked one. What do you plan on doing after uni? And after that, there were more questions on what are your plans after uni and everything. And I'm not so sure 
So since I'm doing law, obviously I think I'll want to practice it in Kenya and after uni I'll have to go to Kenya School of Law for two more years. Uh, that's, that's, that's going to be, you guys, I'm going to be reading for so long. So I'm going to do two more years in Kenya School of Law and then after that I'll hopefully want to practice um, maybe working for NGOs or I'd, I'd like, maybe would I like to lecture? <laughs> I'm not sure if I'd want to lecture, but I'd definitely want to do some practice around certain areas, mostly around um, matters to do with SGBV, and yeah, that's really my area of interest. So mm -hmm. at first, I used to think I would do something to do with like criminal law and litigation and appearing in court, but then I don't really like. I wouldn't. I don't think my personality is more doesn't fit into litigation because litigation is where you go to court and you you like present your argument to the judge and everything and i don't I, it sounds fun because of movies like suits and legally blonde but it's not for me it's just not for me next question oh this is the question that was like you guys asked this question a lot actually and it's tips on dealing with um social anxiety in school and did you also have social anxiety on starting youtube so oh no i was hoping not to get this one so this one reads are you single and if not who are you dating Yo, you know, um, you know, Nairobi, Nairobi is a risky place, you know, like, if you say who, like, I want to keep it private for a while, we have to have some secrets, Stephen, um, you know, we have to, we have to have some secrets. <laughs> um, um, your favorite food, so my favorite food is chicken, I'm such a picky eater that I, I don't like most things, so the most safe food, when I go anywhere, I will order chicken, and everyone's always like, you're such a luya, but let me tell you, it's the most safe food, like, it's very rare that a place cooks chicken badly, or that anyone cooks chicken badly, so I love it, I love, I love chicken. So, the next question is, what do you use to film and take your pictures, because your pics and everything is dope? Thank you so much, and... For filming, I use my Nikon, Nikon, Nikon P600, and to take my photos, I just use my, I still have the iPhone 6. Good. Am I your houseboy? <laughs> Next question. When are you doing a meet and greet? Um, <laughs> as I said, I'm very socially anxious. Actually, some of you, if you meet me, you'll know this. I don't know. So if I have a meet and greet, I'll be very, I don't know if I'll be awkward. I don't know, my best, biggest fear of having like a meet and greet, I don't want to call it like a meet and greet, maybe like a meet up or like time to just hang out with you guys. My biggest fear is that I'll be very socially awkward, so that's why I don't, I've not had a meet up yet. Um, someone asked, opinion on early marriage 22, would you do it? No, I would not because let me tell you. I want after I graduate and I finish Kenya School of Law for some time I actually want to really travel and see this world hopefully I'm putting it out in the universe I really want to like travel see the world I just want to be free you know I want to be like a free human being just living her best life before I decide to settle down so I don't believe I don't believe in early marriage but I believe everyone is different and some people just like that sense of security yeah I hope that helps I've actually talked for a long while so I hope you have your snacks guys <laughs> and the last question in the tin that I'm answering is how do you deal with fake friends and negativity let me tell you my motto is I have no time for negativity like if you have negative vibes just bring negative vibes I'm just like no thank you I don't want it I don't want negative vibes I just I this is something I hate it's negative vibes fakeness like it's not a must we are friends like if you don't like me just tell me or just avoid me or cut me off and personally like if someone is like fake I just avoid you or cut you off you just find we're talking less or something but doesn't mean like I talk to like I don't know I just have no time for negativity I'm always just like positive vibes positivity you know i don't know i don't even know how to deal with them let me answer one more <laughs> girl date with a fan we're literally birthday mates same date and yeah that's so cool i need to find did i take a screenshot because i took a screenshot of all these questions i need to find you and i need to take you out sis you know we need to, a girl date we just need to catch up because probably we are the same you know probably we're just the same because we are both 
Scorpios and everything so I'll arrange for that you know so we've come to the end of this video I hope you guys have gotten to know me better I personally enjoyed answering all these questions and enjoyed answering all your Instagram questions for all the questions I didn't answer I'll go back to my screenshots and reply to you guys on the DM I remember I hope I remember thank you so much for 4k our family is growing and it makes me so happy and yeah thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye T fam